Hey guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to use the product templates module via Pixify. So if you are wanting to use Pixify to put together packaging or also put together the pricing pages, I definitely suggest using the product types template first. Um, this will be really, really helpful because all three of those modules kind of correlate together. And I will show you how they correlate in the next few videos if you're wanting to move on to the packaging template and onto pricing pages. So to make it really easy for you to enter in your product types, I definitely suggest having your pricing menu in front of you or your collections menu in front of you. Uh, basically, I'll show you kind of like what I'm working on right now. So that way that could, will make it really easy for you to transfer to the product types and then product templates. Okay, like so for instance right now, this is my packaging that I'm wanting to enter in for the upcoming year um, and it basically just lists out all the things I want to offer for this package. So what you want to do is just kind of go down the list and basically add it to your product types area um, and how you do that is you just go to templates, product templates and then under that you press product types and then you press add product type. So for instance, you know, I I'm pretty positive that most people offer hours of service, whether it be one hour or 10 hours. Um, you just put hours of service in here, okay? And it's not a physical item, it's gonna be a service item. So you just click that and press save. I'm not gonna go ahead and press save now because I already have that entered in here, but it kind of gives you an idea of how easy it is to enter in a product type, okay? Um, and you can do the same thing for all the other things that are currently in that collection. So then for instance, I have an album in the collection um, and I just press add product type and I put in the album here, okay? And then um, you press it as physical item, press save, okay? So then as you can see, if I scroll all the way down, I entered in all the things that was included in that collection. Hours of service, engagement second session, second photographer, the files, and the online hosted gallery. So all that is now in there my product types okay so the thing that kind of makes this a little bit more complicated is um, each product type is a little bit different you know with hours of service I don't really have many options under that let's say with your albums you have tons of options right because it could be a leather cover options or album size so if you are allowing them to have certain options to go along with the, the product type you just click on option types here Okay, and you can add all those little options in. Um, so then, for instance, with this album right here, I'm gonna have you know be able to offer a size, um, so they can be different sizes. I want it to be a single selection. I want it to be a combo box, and I don't want it to be required to press save. Okay, um, and then you can add on different things like the color of the album, you know, the color binding, okay, and in that way. you can show basically the different types of options they would get with this album, okay? okay? So once you have all your products put into the product types area, you can go over here to product templates. Um, this is where you can kind of customize uh, different types of options they would get per product, okay? And it's really easy to set up. You just press add template here. And say for instance, I was working on that album I was talking about the edgy album right here, okay? And I'm just gonna name it the album size, okay? Because I wanna be able to offer them different sizes and it could be anything, different sizes, different color binding, um, different shapes if you offer that as well, okay? Um, this is a really cool area to be able to enter in what you currently are selling this album for and what it's costing you. Uh, so that way, uh, once you put in together your packages, it will calculate basically how much profit you're going to be getting off that package itself. Okay, so say for instance, I sell this album for $550 and it costs me $100. Okay. And it is a physical item. And you can basically put an image URL here so that way you can reference back to what the album looks like, which will be very helpful for your client, I would assume. Um, and I'm gonna allow them to order multiple on this because you know, just in case they want to order a secondary album for a parent or something. Okay. So now, once I have that entered in here, now I can go ahead and basically go under options. Okay. And I can enter in different sizes under that options. Okay. So 
is going to be 10 by 10, and the 10 by 10 is not going to cost anything. That's the standard size that I usually give. And now I'm going to say 12 by 12. And say the 12 by 12 is going to be $50 more. And it's going to cost me $25 more. All right, and then you can just kind of go through and add all these different options. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll just press Save. And then now under Options, I should see those two sizes. Okay, all right. Um, so that is basically how you enter in um, products and product templates. And then if you want to tune into the next video, I'll show you how to take all these things and put it into your packaging. Okay, as always, subscribe to this channel if you want more tips and tricks. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.